Welcome to our lesson where we're going to use the rules of indices to simplify these expressions. So we'll begin with question A, where we have 2a squared multiplied by 3a to the power of 3. And we're going to write it out as one long multiplication. So you can see we have 2 multiplied by a squared multiplied by 3 multiplied by a cubed. So you can see we have 2 times 3, which is 6. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. a multiplied by itself 5 times. So it is 6a to the power of 5. A simpler way of working this out is to multiply the 2 by the 3, which is 6. And then we use the multiplication rule to add the powers. So 2a squared multiplied by 3a cubed is 6a to the power of 5. For question B, we have 4a to the power of 4 multiplied by 3a to the power of 5. So all we need to do is multiply the 4 by the 3 to make 12. And then because this a and this a are the same base, we can apply the multiplication rule. So we add the two powers, which is 12a to the power of 9. And in question C, we have 6a to the 6, and I'm going to write this as a division, over or divided by 3a to the power of 4. I write it as a division because you can see it is 6 divided by 3, which is 2. And then we can use the division rule to take the 4 away from the 6. Again, because we have the same base. So we have 2a to the power of 2 or 2a squared. Do you want to try and work out questions D and E? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question D. So I've written out the division. So I can see we have the 10 divided by 5, which is 2. And then we have a division rule, which is 2a, because again we've got the same base of 5 take away 6. And 5 take away 6 is negative 1. So we have 2a to the negative 1. And for question B, I'm going to work out the numerator first. So we have 12 times 3, which is 36. And then we can add the powers. So the 2 add the 5 is 7. So 36a to the power of 7. We'll do the division. 2 times 4, which is 8. And then... 5 add the 9, which is 14. I can simplify this fraction by dividing both by 4. So we have 9 over 2. And then we can use the division rule to simplify a to the 7 divided by, so take away, the 14, which is a to the power of negative 7. So we have 9a to the negative 7 over 2. You could also write this as 4.5a to the negative 7. Okay, do you want to try question f? By pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Again, we'll evaluate the numerator first. So we have the 5 times the 4, which is 20. And we'll use a multiplication rule here, where we have 20r to the power of 2 add the negative 3. And when we add this negative, it becomes a subtraction. So we have 20r to the power of negative 1. And the denominator, the 2 times the 10, which is again 20. r to the power of 3 add the negative 5, which simplifies to make 20 multiplied by r to the power of negative 2. We can simplify this fraction to make 1. And then we have r to the power of negative 1 take away the negative 2. These become an addition, so we have r to the power of 1, or r. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.